Hello everyone, Stefan here back with another video. So first off, before I start, I'd like to say thank you everyone for the amazing support and the amazing comment you left on my previous video about the YouTube flagdown of that series. Really, it's really much appreciated. So don't worry, the channel is continuing. I'm going to keep on posting videos and try to make as much French food <laughs> as I can. So thank you very much for the support. We're going to keep going. Now, in terms of the format, I think I'm going to keep that kind of two video format so on Tuesday you're gonna have like a little chat uh, pre recipe talking about the recipes to come and on the Thursday or Wednesday I'll be posting the recipe now today we're gonna start that series talking about lentils and basically some tips on how we can uh, use them what to choose and how to cook lentils so let's start so lentils is not really a particular uh, ingredient that uh, people talk about that is really <coughs> uh, loved. And I think the reason for that is because there's two things I've noticed. Some people uh, seem to say that they are too long to cook, like you have to soak them, they take hours to cook so they don't make them. And the second uh, category is people, they've tried to cook them, but when you do, they tend to split and you get all these kind of skins in a lentil. So it's really not appetizing, so people have just stopped making them. Now, how do we do it in France to get these perfect lentils that looks amazing, you know? Well, there's a little secret to it. It's all down to the quality of the ingredients and also the provenance. And as you can see here, I've got a bunch of lentils. These are French Dupuis lentils. They are green lentils and they've got a very specific properties is that they don't split when you cook them. And how do we know out of all these lentils, you know what to choose? Well, basically in France, I'm going to tell you a little secret, is that like the wine, food and ingredients, they all have their registered category uh, in the food kind of department kind of body. So if you buy a shallot, a leek, a piece of butter or a cheese, there's a classification that guarantees certain provenance and certain level of quality. So if you buy, for instance, these Dupuis lentils, you know that these lentils, they are grown in the central highlands of France, in the volcanic soil, and the main property is that they don't split when you buy them. So you can use these, eyes closed, and your, you know, your dish with lentils is always going to be perfect. Now, these particular ones are really going back a long time. They've actually been grown for 2,000 years, <laughs> imagine that. And there's even an order that protects the lentil, and they are called the Knights of the Green Lentils. Uh, these Knights are actually uh, protecting the origin of the lentil, and they make sure it's grown and harvested the way it's been done 2,000 years ago, and they want to guarantee you that they're not going to uh, you know, split open and you're going to be satisfied with your product. Now, you can see a little picture of these guys over there they do exist it's not a joke and they are the knights of the lentils and they protect this dish now anyway after all this fact let's talk about the recipe that's going to be coming a lot of you ask me to make a recipe that's a simple one that i make on my weekly basis or you know monthly basis not out of a book just my personal thing and i'm going to make the classic French recipe, which is called saucisse aux lentilles, which is uh, lentils, basically, served with pan-fried sausage. It sounds very simple, but when you use the Dupuis lentils and you cook your lentils with aromatics like carrots, onions, some pork belly, and you serve them with sausages and a nudge of butter, the whole mix become absolutely delicious. But this is what we're going to see in our next video, so please join me in two days' time, and we're going to discover how to make a delicious recipe. Until then, take care.